Dr. Emma P. Obana is an Associate Professor of the Mathematics Department at the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. She earned the degrees BS Applied Mathematics, MS Statistics, and PhD Statistics from the University of the Philippines, Los Angeles. She spearheaded several trainings on basic statistical analysis held here in the campus, Cebu Normal University, and Carada State. Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon or good morning. But anyway, a pleasant day to everyone who's watching this video right now. I am Emma P. Ubangan, a faculty member of the Mathematics Department. I hope you are all doing well. Your family is well also. Your mind is up and your faith in God remains strong amidst this pandemic. My heartfelt salute. To our Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Attorney Alicidi Bukalan, for creating this beautiful idea to fill in the learning gap which was brought about by the sudden change in our educational system due to the pandemic. So, my video is to give you a short lecture on how to use a statistical software in doing computational analysis for your research data. <clears throat> so hence, I assume you already have background in statistics using simple lang, like an understanding about the measures of central location, your mean, median, mode, at saka yung mga measures of uh, variation no, of the data, like the range, the variance, the standard deviation, and also, sana naalala niyo pa yung mga percentage distribution, yung frequency distribution. So, we will just focus on that para hindi masyadong heavy si start pa lang yung semester. So, please prepare now your mind like you have already gathered some data in your research, like what the research you have done in senior high school. So if we have a set of data, remember what we want to do is to describe our data, like what is the average value and how far are the data from each other, and also uh, the frequency distribution of the data. So we will know the shape of the stream. So, okay. Okay. So SPSS. I think many of you are familiar with SPSS. It's a popular statistical software. Kaso lang, it needs a license. So we are thinking of introducing a free statistical software and one statistical software na user friendly menu driven is called JASP. Okay, it stands for Jeffrey's Amazing Statistics Program. This is developed by some researchers in the University of Amsterdam. Okay, Jeffrey is in honor of Sir Harold Jeffrey, a pioneer of Bayesian uh, inferential statistics. Okay, so I put yung icon on just. So uh, this is the link where you can download the software, and we also have a student guide for just. Okay? 
So the objectives of my talk is uh, below lang how to input the data and next, pag yung data, you will be able to perform descriptive analysis of the data by generating those statistical measures I have mentioned earlier and uh, also uh, generating graphs. Okay? So, again, as I have said, condition muna natin yung mind natin. Kung wari, meron tayong research. Okay. So, let's take this example. A study was conducted to determine the effect of a sleeping pill on the amount of sleep on a random sample of 10 patients. Amount of additional hours from the regular sleeping hours of the patient is recorded. 0 0.7, negative 1.6, negative 0 0.2, 1, negative 1.2, and so on. Okay? When you are asked to compute the mean and the standard deviation and sketch a graph on the distribution of data. Okay, so but before we proceed, let's first appreciate our data. Ano to? Ba? Uh, additional hours of sleep no, na nakuha ng patient after taking the sleeping pill. So, ano tong 0 0.7 hour? So, this is actually in minutes na kinonvert so, di ba, no, record natin minutes tapos kinoconvert lang to hours. So, we do that by uh, dividing the number of minutes observed, dividing it by, uh, divide it by 16 minutes. Okay? Yung ibang negative 1.6, so, ibig sabihin, nabawasan yung, hindi siya nagkaroon ng additional sleep, no? Nabawasan yung uh, sleep niya, pag-take niya ng sleeping pill, siguro, may nervous ito, no? May problema. Okay? So, a few, had a uh, negative uh, ano, additional hours, so nabawasan yung sleep. But most of them, six of them, had uh, gained some more sleep after taking the sleeping pill. Okay, so let us now compute the mean and standard deviation. Okay, so before we compute the mean and standard deviation, the first thing we do is to enter our data. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the developing tayo just, it does not have a feature yet where you can directly enter the data. So what we will do is we enter our data in MS Excel. I hope you are familiar with MS Excel. And save it either as a CSV file, comma separated values, or a text file, na tab delimited. Okay? And the first line should indicate the name of the client. Okay, so we now go to Excel. Okay, so nasa Excel na tayo. Let us know. So, ang Excel, ganito lang sa mga hindi nakakilala ng Excel. So, you just have columns and rows. Okay? So, columns will stand for variables. So, bawat question, okay, stands for a data, di ba? Tinanong sila sa age, data yan. Gender, another data yan. So, bawat variable eh, as, uh, will occupy different columns, okay? And, sino yung tinanong mo? Sila yung mga ilagay natin sa rows. So, uh, row 1 for respondent number 1, row 2 for respondent number 2. So, lahat ng data for respondent number 2, dito siya sa row 2. So, row, uh, respondent number 1, of course, sa row 1. But, since ito sa, ano to, sa just, First row natin ay yung, ano, ano na, yung uh, variable names. So, in that case, mabawasan tayo. Uh, lag, lagyan na lang natin ng ano, yung patients natin, di ba? 
Uh, uh, identification number. Kasi we have 10 patients, so we write the patient number, patient number or ID number. So you have one, two, three, up to ten. So para mabilis, up to ten, pwede din yun. Then we record the uh, amount of extra sleep. So let's say, extra sleep. So the first is 0.7. Okay, the first respondent is 0.7. Okay, ako nakikita ko yung hito ko. A negative 1.6 yung pangalawa. And the rest, I will input that. So, pwede yung i-copy ko na lang para mag-delete. Okay, so ito na yung mga data natin. So, ano? Wala tayong ilalagay ng mga space, paganda-ganda, kasi hindi, ano yun, ang pagulo lang yun. Maka hindi pa mag-run ang ating analysis, dahil ilagay tayo ng mga spaces at mga paganda-ganda. So, simple na. Okay? So, let us save this as a, either a CSV file or a text file. Okay, tab delimited. Okay, I'll, I'll name this uh, extra... Ay, meron. Ito na lang. Palitan ko yung ginawa ko. Extra sleep. And... Ano tayo? Okay, maraming si SB dito, but we will choose comma delimited. Okay. Or you can choose text delimited, uh, text tab delimited, text file. Okay. So, dito lang tayo sa kanya. So, ayan na. Na, ano na siya. Na enter na siya. Okay. Okay. So, suppose we have now opened our JAST software. So this is how your JAST interface would look like. Okay. So at the left hand side, upper right, uh, upper left corner, when you press this, okay, lalabas yung mga options natin. Like, for example, auto open. So let's open. Um, okay, the file that we have just uh, saved a while ago, extra sleep. So, okay. so we have here the variable name, patient ID, and extra sleep. Note that there is an icon at the left side of the variable name, and this indicates the type of variable that just guess about the data that you entered. So if you Press this icon. Okay, so, lalabas yung three types of variables. So, it's either scale, ordinal, or nominal. So, the figure looks like uh, a bar chart, which means it's an ordinal data. So, just recognize the patient number as an ordinal data, but actually it's just a nominal data because uh, it's it's only for identification. There is no ordering. 
in this data. So we just choose this to be nominal. Change nothing. So para na siyang bubble. And uh, extra sleep, di ba yung parang ladder? Yan ay scale data kasi ang pag quantitative yung data natin, it's a scale data. Pag categorical, it's either nominal kung walang ordering ng data, uh, ordinal pag meron ng order. You can arrange the data from the lowest to highest. Okay, uh, yung type of data may bearing mamaya no? sa analysis yung uh, find that later. Now, if you want to edit your data, you just double click on the data, any of the data, and it will bring you to the original file, uh, yung Excel. Okay? So, I won't go kung na-change ba sa inyo, na-change ba dyan ngayon? Ah, parang na-change yata. Okay? It brings you to Excel. So, if you make changes, let's say ito, baguhin ninyo, just make sure na nasi-save, nasi-save, okay? So, for example, we change this to 0 0.8, so we save it, then it will reflect in Excel, ah no, in just, okay? So, nagiging 0 0.8, let's look at just. If the data in just have changed. Okay. So, indeed, the data in just have, uh, have, have changed also. So, we go back to the original data. Let's double click the Double click again. Okay. So, since Open na yung data sa Excel. Uh, makita ninyo sa baba. Hindi ko makakita sa inyo na sa baba ng screen. Na yung Excel mo, magbiblink siya. Kasi open na siya eh. So hindi na, hindi na siya open pa ulit. Kasi open. Okay. So, pakita ko sa inyo ha, anong lumabas sa aking screen. Okay. So, nagsabi na dito sa Excel that extra sleep is already open. So, reopening will cause any changes you need to be discarded. Do you want to reopen extra sleep? Okay, yes. And so, Okay, so ibalik natin yung original data, 0 0.7. Then we save. Okay, so let's look at just what happened to our data in just. Okay, so the data in just is now back to 0 0.7. Okay. So, aside from that, meron tayong anong na figures, seven na figures on the top, okay? The first figure uh, has a uh, name descriptives. So, the dito tayo mag-process if you want the descriptive measures. Okay, yung mga mean, variance, and so on. So, dyan lang tayo. But if you want to make comparison of two groups or a test on a single group, on uh, the mean of a single group, you can uh, choose the test na menu. So, ayan. Kalagay dito, 
sample dependent sample speed test, a sample speed test, and one sample speed test. I'm not sure kung familiar kayo. Na-discuss ba ito sa inyo sa senior high school ninyo since pagka-pandemic man? But anyway, if you enroll in your statistics in college, I think you will meet this test. Okay? So, yung Bayesian, yung nga lang yan, pansin. Okay? We also have ANOVA here. Uh, the menu for ANOVA, menu for mixed models. I think, hindi kayo familiar dyan. Ito sa regression, some of you are familiar with regression. So if you press this, ang anong pwedeng analysis na magawa, we have correlation, linear regression, and the rest. Ito sa, so yung correlation, no? using Pearson RD pa kayo po. And then for frequencies, ng test na lang tayo. Uh, hindi na tayo familiar nito. Ito na, si contingency tables. Actually, ito yung sa chi, yung magperform tayo ng chi-square test for independence. So, contingency tables. Okay, yung factor analysis. Ito sa factor analysis and related uh, or related analysis. So, again, you're not familiar with that. And we have more uh, statistical analysis that can be done here from my positive sign, plus or plus sign. So, maramat pa kayong pagdito nito. But anyway, hindi na tayo aabot dyan. Dito lang tayo sa hanggang descriptives lang tayo. Siguro, no? <laughs> okay. So, if we press descriptives, what happened? Ayan. So, napansin niyo actually, dalawang na-split yung buong window ang kito. Okay? Ito yung start option window sa left. Okay? Dito kayo mag-assign ng variables na kailang i-analyze. At saka, gawa kayo ng mga plots. Uh, dito kayo mag-command. O, mamili. Anong gusto niya ipagawa dito sa left side? And then, yung output, you will see it at the right side. Okay, so for example, oh, tingnan natin dito. Ah, Naka-default na ito ha. Wala pa tayong gina pinapagawa na analysis. Nandito na ito na table sa right side. So, under descriptive statistics, ito yung ano, default. No? ng mga measures na kanyang ipapalabas. Tingnan natin what happens. Okay. Let's make an analysis on extra sleep. So, no process na siya. So, ito na ngayon yung output. Valid is 10, missing is 0. So, what does that mean? There are 10 observations no? at wala kang missing data. Okay. Ang missing class, by the way, kung missing, just put blank. Do not put any value. Do not write zero. Wala lang. Blank ko lang siya kung wala talagang data. Okay? Do not put zero kasi zero is a data. Okay? The mean is 0 0.75. So, overall, di ba yung kanina, yung data natin, yung iba, negative kulang. Kinulang yung sleep. Others have uh, obtained more sleep after taking the sleeping pill. And uh, overall, that is a positive or a an increase in the uh, length of sleep or amount of sleep. Okay? And the standard deviation, remember the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So, uh, pwede na rin natin i-interpret that ito ay average distance ng mga observations from the mean na 0.75 out of the minimum data is negative 1.6 and the maximum is 0.7. 
No, meron pa bang i- pwedeng madagdag dyan? Okay? Dito, sa statistics, if you press this, okay, lalabas yung iba't ibang option. Okay? So, you can also uh, let just compute for the percentiles. No? First quartile, second quartile, third quartile, ina natin. Okay, every time we press, nagpa-process siya agad. And, ayan, meron na agad result. Okay? So, we also have measures of central tendency, mean region mode, and measures of dispersion. Okay? As, kita, ano lang ba ang familiar kayo dito? I think, range which is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation. Okay, standard deviation, no variance. And that's the thing. Okay. And ano pa dito? May maximum. So, nakacheck na yun sila. Okay. Also, we can let just uh, compute for the degree of skewness. So, kung skew to the right, skew to the left ba siya? Okay. So, kung ito, if you check this, on um, the process, the process na ba? Oh, hindi pa siya na process. Okay, kaya. Ayan natin. Ayan, the process na. So, let's look at the results. Ay, ito na pala, o, oh, yung skewness, 0.5, yung pertosis, negative uh, 6.30. So, slightly skewed lang siya, meaning it's uh, more or less close pa rin siya to a symmetric distribution. The pertosis is near also to zero, so medyo close to a normal distribution na siya. Okay. So, every time you press here, automatic nag siya. Lalabas na output at the right side. Okay. Uh, how about plots? No? Or graphs? Ano ba ang kaya niyang gagawin uh, gagawin na graph? Let's see. So, it's statistics, ano mo naman yun? Minimize, hmm? Eh? It's a plot, okay? So, plot, box plot, scattered plot, hindi pa man yata kayo familiar niyan. Um, ang alam niyo, di ba yung mga bar, line graph, yun know? mo? Ah, uh -huh. meron lang dito distribution plots. So distribution plots yung histogram, okay, or close na rin yan sa bar chart, okay, day, okay, and uh, pie chart, okay. Yung iba, yun yun naman masyadong kilala yun. So, other graphs are not available yet because, you know, napabag pa lang yung just Maybe later. Ilang, maybe end of the year. Okay. So, kung magpagawa tayo, let's say, let's have a plot on the frequency distribution. So, na process siya. Yeah. Okay. So, parang skewed siya to the right. Kaya lang tumaas naman somewhere at doon sa dulo. So, di ba kanina yung sa skewness natin, may konting skewness. Very very slight lang. Ito ang kiting na ito rin yung general shape. Hmm. 
pie chart. Gagawa ba siya ng pie chart? Tingnan natin. Oh, hindi siya gumawa ng pie chart. Kasi actually, ang gagawan lang niya ng pie chart ay yung uh, ordinal and nominal data, but not all scale data. So, kung gusto mo ng pie chart for uh, scale data, hanap na lang ng ibang uh, software. Okay? Look pa. Naroon din tayo dito frequency table. However, frequency tables can only be done for nominal and ordinary variable. So, tingnan natin. Extra sleep is a scale variable. Kaya, if we check this, tingnan natin. Meron bang output? Oh, wala. Walang output. Okay? Pero, Kanwari lang, just for the sake of, ano, um, wala. O, tinignan nyo, tinanggal pa yung extra sleep na wala din yung result. So, maganda. So, may result na. Wala tinignan natin, ha? If we press this arrow, meron tayong option to copy. Okay, so you can copy this and then paste it in Word or in Excel. Okay. So para hindi mawala yung ano, so ito si patient ID because it's nominal. Tingnan natin. Ano mo nangyari? Uh, kinocompute din nga yung mga descriptive measures. Wala namang meaning yan. No? Kasi nominal yung mga data. But look, it now creates a uh, a dis okay, this is the distribution, no? Distribution plot ng ating data. Yung bar chart na or histogram. And then, Look at it, it creates a pie chart because patient ID is a nominal variable. Okay. Now, what is this split uh, dialog box here? You will only use this if your data set is composed of uh, two or more groups. Parang i-separate mo yung computations per group. Kaya, mag, uh, gagamitin mo itong box dito for speed. Okay? So, let's try the Let's try. Let's open a file na yung data set has two groups. Okay, meron dito sa library niya. Let's use this. Okay, so, again, this is the number of additional hours, no? That each patient slept after taking sleeping cure. Okay, so, this file, again, it's still about uh, the extra amount of sleep up after taking sleeping pill. But uh, we have already two groups, group one and group two. Okay, so the first 10 observations are data from group one, while the second 10 observations are data from group two. So let's press descriptives and we put uh, extra. Okay, so I think it's a sleep. 
Tingnan natin. Ah. So, meron ng results dito. So, this one, since ang valid is 20, meaning they take the whole observation as one day to set. So, um, combine natin sila, the average is 1.5%. So, if we want to separate the result for group 1 and group 2, then we can split the results according to group. So, then, then it happens now. So, bakit tayo meron pwede kayo i-remove na dito yan so, i-x na pinin para mag-i-x ayun very good. Okay, so we now have okay, the mean of group 1 is 0.75 while the mean of group 2 is 2.80. So it's, it appears that the sleeping field used by group 2 is more effective in increasing the sleep. Okay, for plots, let's look at the plots. Ilan ba ang gagawin niya ng plots? What do you think? Isang maglaw. Hmm? Nagpo-process na siya. Nagpayin natin. Okay, so meron na tayong result. So split the mean. So we have a separate uh, result for group 1 and group 2. Okay, now we have a problem because uh, we are not able to create a frequency table for scale data. So, ano ang magiging option natin? Uh -huh. Gamit talaga kayo ng ibang software. Or kaya, you can copy the data in Excel, have it sorted in Excel, ipa-arrange mo from lowest to highest, at saka yun, yun kayo na magiging din. Meron din namang, ano, uh, command sa Excel, but it's beyond our discussion. Okay. Now, nasaan na pala ang data natin class? Actually, we just drag this one. Yan. Kita nyo na yung data. And if you press this arrow, hide down the data. Okay. So, kaya, ano mangyari doon? So, na-hiding yun. Uh, start option na window, no? If you want to erase this analysis, again, you can just uh, press the X. So, everything will be erased. Okay? And that ends my uh, lecture. I hope you enjoy, you have, you have uh, gained a little knowledge how to uh, use a statistical software in analyzing. You will have more of this when you uh, enroll in your staff courses. I hope your teacher will teach you. Okay, bye. <music>